Welcome back, Tam Fam. All hour we've been talking with inspiring guests about their personal journeys. And my next guest says nothing is more personal than your financial journey. With inflation close to a 40-year high and interest rates on the rise, growing our savings is more important than ever. So whether you're just starting out or you're a savvy saver, Capital One wants to help you find a financial future that you're excited about. And that's why they dubbed today National Savings Day to remind everyone how beneficial savings can be. Please welcome financial expert and New York Times bestselling author, Nicole Laffman. Nicole, good to see you. All right. In theme with the show, you say small changes can make a big difference. I was stunned when the first thing you recommended is a selfie. That's right. A selfie? A selfie, a financial selfie. Okay. Without a filter, <laughs> under fluorescent lighting. We have to be real. <laughs> Tam Fam keeps it real, yeah, right? Yeah, we do. We and do. so we have to get honest with what our financial traumas are. We all have them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I worked paycheck to paycheck. I ate brown rice and beans because it felt fancier than ramen for yeah. a while. I came from an immigrant family. So if I could do this, y'all, anyone can? can do this yeah. for sure. So if there's been something you've been meaning to do, cancel a subscription, or if you've been late on a cell phone bill, now is the time to do it. Take that financial selfie. Be honest with yourself. The only financial problem you can't fix is the one you don't yeah. admit you have. And there's... Yeah, I love that. And, and that's... that's. I like that you said, you know, no filter. You're not going to put the, the, the glaze over it, auto-tune it. You're going to look at it for what it is. Exactly. And I would say take advantage of free resources out there. Free is my favorite price, <laughs> of course. <laughs> And the Money in Life program from Capital One, you don't have to be a customer to use it, but it really helps you connect the dots between your life goals and your finances. Because goals have price tags, yeah, they right? Do. And yes, a dream they without do. a plan is just a wish, and wishes are awesome, but they don't pay the bills. Oh, okay, I need a t-shirt that says all of that. Uh, you say set up a buddy system? That's right, an accountability buddy. Like if you're trying to get into shape and there's somebody waiting at your door with running shoes on, you are more likely to go running, right? Yeah. Than if you do it by yourself. So for the good and the bad, and if you feel like you're slipping from your financial goals, also it's good to text a buddy or let them know. That's Phone a friend. Phone a friend. That's right. And say, hey, I don't, I shouldn't be buying this. Walk me off the ledge. <laughs> like, what, <laughs> what do you discuss with yes, your buddy? You do it together. You encourage each other, and you also say, like, maybe that's not exactly gonna get you towards your goals. I and like I know that. what your goals are, and I want the best for you. I like that. That's Those a good are the friend. Friends you should keep. So the holidays right around the corner. You want us to shop smarter. How do we do that? So this might surprise you, but not always is the cheapest thing the best thing. So sometimes if you are shopping, let's say for a luggage, the cheapest one will fall apart after a couple of trips yeah. and then you have to get another one. So a slightly, slightly more expensive one that has a lifetime warranty will get you the most bang for your buck. And that's really important. So you're saying look at the big times. picture. Don't that's get right. caught up. Okay, that's a good tip. Actually, I don't think I've ever heard anyone admit that too. Uh, in all of the financial segments that I've done over the years, like it's not always wise because it's the cheapest. Because right. you end up buying it twice or maybe three times if it's not quality. Okay, let's talk about unexpected expenses. Your car breaks down. Um, something small like you forget a gift that you needed to buy and you hadn't budgeted for that friend's birthday. How do you attack that? I really like, this is one of my favorite savings hacks, sub savings accounts. So naming your savings accounts based on your goals. Oh. So if you have like the Tam Fam, present fund yeah. or Mexico vacation, yeah. or I have my broken phone fund because I miss <laughs> Butterfingers. Talk about unexpected expenses. Right. I know on average, I will drop my phone once a year. So automatically I deposit $20 every single month into my broken phone fund. And so inevitably when that happens, you can buy I'm not stressed out and the oh. money is there. And you can do this really easily uh, with the Capital One 360 performance savings account. You can name and label all of your accounts based on your financial I love goals. that too. I even like that you said labeling your savings funds. When I was growing up, my parents always had the little holiday vacation fund. And you put a little bit back so that when you finally decided to take a trip, you're not going from zero to 100. You've been putting it back. And you're visualizing. Yeah, you're visualizing. What you're saving your goal. for on yeah. the other side. Like, what is that cash going to yeah. get me? I like that.